Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to our channel, It's a Trap. As you can see, in our growing area, we always use the stray method. Because uh, using this method, we save some space and we give some plants uh, additional humidity by keeping them uh, closer to each other. And the bigger the fat, or the bigger the planter, uh, it will take time before the planter, planter uh, experience drying up. So as promised, uh, I'm gonna share to you what is specific medium are we using right now and what's the process of uh, making this uh, planter so i hope you can learn something from this video so let's start so first we need a plastic basket you can buy it from uh, any trip trip store here in the philippines like uh, you can buy it on Novo, you can buy it online, you can buy it even on a, a mark, a local market. Just go to your uh, a planter and plastic uh, supplies and you can uh, choose any uh, basket that you want. So what we need right now is a uh, medium that you're going to be using. So like uh, carbonized rice hull. So we need this to lessen the bad odor to our medium. And also give more aeration and we also need the uh, uh, cocoa feet and also used sphagnum moss and fur light so first we're gonna put some net uh, this is a sheeting net 80% uh, but any net will do just uh, use a, a net without a hole in it or without big hole that the medium will not go uh, through so first I'm gonna put uh, cocoa peat so that the next medium that, that we're gonna put on top of that will not erode so first is cocoa peat then we need to put uh, cocoa peat around the area and also we need to arrange the net so that uh, all the uh, the surface is covered so now we're gonna put the carbonized rice hull when we measured the TDS reading of this initially in the first video, we came up with uh, uh, 21 ppm and for the cocoa peat, it's 20. So, it's uh, ideal for our uh, carnivorous plant. Then, it's just a thin layer of uh, carbonized rice hull. If you want to put more, it's up to you. But I suggest you just put a thin layer of it because it's very important the you know the layering because if we're gonna put the top toppings will be the carbonized rice salt it will not be favorable because when it rains <laughs> your your plant will look messy so we cover it again with uh cocoa peat then afterwards we're gonna put uh sphagnum moss and perlite it's a used medium recycled from an old medium so we boil it and after boiling it we rinse it with the uh, rainwater until the ideal ppm is achieved so around 60 ppm and below so tds is a total dissolved solid plants we, like carnivorous plant venus flytrap and the pentas likes to be planted in the low tds medium and they like to receive low tds water in short they like low minerals no low low nutrient soil or soil uh, medium so now we're we're at putting on top of it uh, sphagnum moss and, and fur light make sure that you put uh, enough pressure so that it will uh, the medium will be a little bit uh, compacted and it will not erode up for a while when you water it so I just like to cover it with uh, at least half up to one inch of uh, sphagnum moss and fur light. And don't forget to pat it so that it will be uh, so that the spaces in between the medium will be peeled. So it's just uh, simple but uh, the important thing is the layering. 
not only before I tried to mix everything <laughs> and it goes well but uh, I don't think it will goes well with uh, uh, much uh, sensitive uh, plants like delicate plants like uh, Heliumphora and uh, Cephalotus because they like uh, a really nice uh, medium so now the next uh, step will be misting it or watering it uh, so that the medium will settle and it will be ready on your uh, next planting or repotting of your plants and also it's very nice to see if the medium is uh, washed because you can see as you can see it will be a big difference before and after the, this procedure and it will be much easier to manage it when you want to plant the new uh, sets of plant that you want to put in there so just water it rinse it and by doing so the medium that is already low it will be much uh, safer to your plants to be uh, planted with so after misting it uh, it will be around like a 20 to 30 ppm PDS reading so let's wait after uh, misting it I like to miss it for about a minute or two so that it will be uh, ready for your uh, carnivorous plant so this medium I use it uh, almost for everything except for uh, let's say uh, pingicula because pingicula they like to be planted on the pure sphagnum moss I don't know in, if it, in the other country you also experience that but in here in the Philippines it's better if you plant it in the pure sphagnum moss toppings so you can use, still use this uh, procedure but make sure you, you put the uh, a next uh, or another layer of pure sphagnum moss just a thin layer of it maybe a few centimeter then if you want to plant your first uh, carnivorous plant just poke a hole in there and use the same method that we're using before uh, put a live sphagnum moss around the rhizome it is a venus fly trap and put it in there if it is an event test i would suggest you don't uh, <laughs> work too much on the roots of the nepenthes because nepenthes is here in the Philippines in my experience especially if you're going it outdoor if you <laughs> disturb the, the root system it will reflect on their next uh, production of, uh, of their uh, feature and it will not be favorable so it's better if it is uh, um, a healthy nepenthes don't disturb too much uh, of their root system so as you can see this uh, medium is very effective on my uh, venus flytrap as well as on as uh, heliumphora and cephalotus and also with my uh, furforea venosa here as you can see i use it on my uh, pingicola heliumphora sand juice even and also sphagnum moss so even you use it for a year or two <laughs> if there is no pest it's it's uh it's no problem if you don't repot it in another set of medium so that's all for today i hope you learned something from this video and if i forgot something and you want to or you want if you want to add more just uh, send me a message on Facebook or here in the comment section. So, see you. God bless and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.